Hello guys, here we are going to see about Symbol Moving Average, SMA, is the unweighted mean of the previous data point. That means we take the previous sum candles value and calculate the mean, draw some smooth line. Based on that smooth line, we can decide it is a sell position or a buy position. Pre requests are please take latest our trading logic code in this GitHub link. For set up the Visual Studio code, please refer this video. And for Google Collab setups, we can refer this video. Let's jump into the code. This is our trading logic GitHub code. I clone that code in my local system. Then here we can see the main Python file export to G sheet. Previously, we implemented the trading signal based on Bollinger Band, then support and resistance, then trend. Here we are going to see how to export buy and sell signal based on moving average 20. Moving average 20 means we will take previous 20 candle values and calculate the mean then write a smooth line then based on that line we will decide the sell and buy here we are getting stock data with interval one day these are we already seen in the previous videos here we implemented two more line to calculate the stocks with one day duration here we implemented one for loop in this for loop for each stock it will come here based on our input input we already seen in the previous videos the input we are getting from google sheet this is that input sheet google sheet here we put that input file in the shared data folder in the sheet one i given two stocks as input Python can access this stock list file with the help of Google service account. For setup Google service account, I already posted one video in my channel. Please refer that video for setup Google service account for accessing stock list file from Python or Collapse. Then these two for loops we already seen in our previous video. These two for loops for calculating the signal based on Bollinger Band then based on trend and support and resistance here we are implemented one more for loop here this is the new for loop we are amending with existing code here as usual we are calculating the required indicators standard moving average 20 upper band 20 then RSI 14 this is the code for calculating symbol moving average 20 Let's see the logic for symbol moving average. Here in this input, we will pass the period of durations. That means if we pass the 20, then it will take past 20 candles value, then calculate the mean. This is called symbol moving average. Then also we are calculating the peak high low values. Here we are calculating peak high low values. This peak high low values will help to find the buy and sell signal we implemented one more method this is the main method for buy and sell signal based on moving average 20 peak high and low values we already seen in previous video for some clear understanding i will show the document for peak high and low here this is our github repo here you can see this picture here we can see some peak points in the graph this is the graph for tata motors limited in this graph we can see some peak high and low this is low high we can see some peak high and low these points we are finding from python this peak and high values will help for finding buy and signal based on moving average 20 let's go into code this is the method for finding buy and sell signal 
based on moving average 20. Here, if latest price is greater than moving average 20, also if the last peak level, that means this last peak level, here the last peak level is this one, this is the last peak value, here the last peak value is high, if last peak level high price is less than that simple moving average average 20 then buy signal if latest price is less than moving average 20 and also the last peak level low price is less than moving average 20 then it's a sell signal i confused two stocks hdfc bank limited arbindo or more limited let's Run the code by right click, select run python file in terminal. It's putting, now it's finished. Let's see the output. The output, we can see the nest file, trading list. This is the output file. Here I already opened that output file. Here, this is that output is generated now. Here, see the HDFC bank here moving average 20 signal is none let's see in the graph also i updated the logic here in this wiki page here i updated the logic for standard deviations 20 let's see in the hdfc the current price is greater than the standard deviation 20 the center line you can see on center line right this is the standard deviations 20 the current price is greater than this standard deviation 20 okay here the logic the current price is greater than moving average 20 then check last big high price is less than moving average 20 on that time okay the last peak value yeah this this is the last peak value the last peak level high value is here greater than this moving average it's not satisfied this condition so it is written none value let's check next stock this is the latest peak value here the low price for this latest peak level is greater than the moving average 20 also the current price is less than the moving average 20 here see the latest price is less than moving average 20 also the last peak low price is greater than moving average 20 on that time so it is a sell signal so this stocks is for sell signal thank you see you again